Hi everyone, thanks for coming back to watch a video. I am starting off by wetting um, Zamira's hair and just applying shampoo to it. And also I'm just making sure to really scrub her scalp because I do use a lot of products in their hair, just like natural products um, for their curls and stuff like that. And so they won't get dry scalp. So I'm just really focusing on scrubbing her scalp out um, because that's what shampoo is supposed to do, clean your hair. Um, and she's laughing and stuff, even though she hates getting her hair washed, but she actually didn't do so bad. Um, I kept having to give her the towel to put on her eyes because, you know, she don't like that water in her face, which is understandable. Okay, so now I'm just rinsing the shampoo out of her hair. And her hair is so curly to the point I have to make sure I check and check each section to make sure that the shampoo is all the way out, which is weird. She has like 4A, 4B type hair. Um, so I am done and then now I'm starting on Zara's hair and I am just wetting all of her hair, which she hates her hair wash y'all. It's ridiculous. But then I'm just wetting her hair and then I will apply the shampoo to her hair and just really work it in in her scalp and like around her edges and also in the middle of her hair because that's where it gets tangled the most and sometimes she has dandruff. So I'm just scrubbing it, scrubbing it, scrubbing it. And then I'll go ahead and rinse her hair. I had to keep giving her the towel as well. Oh my goodness, uh, wash day is horrible. Please let me know some tips that you use, you know, for toddlers. Now I'm just applying some moisturizer to her hair. I'm par part in a section. I always put grease in the part just because they get dandruff. So that's what I'm doing now. And then I'm just putting her ponytail in with a rubber band. I'll make sure not to do it too tight because she'll complain and say my hair is too tight so I'm making sure not to do her hair so tight and I'm just you know um parting her hair and also putting like leave-in conditioner moisturizer and grease in her hair and then I have to make sure I'm detangling it so I'm holding it at the root so I can just comb and detangle her hair she didn't have any that much shedding which is good so now I'm just like putting it in a ponytail um yeah, and I love this little brush. I don't even know what it's called, but it's good for detangling um, curly hair. So I'm just brushing her hair in a ponytail, and then I put some little bobos on her hair. Um, and this is just like a style after wash day. It wasn't that cute of a style, but, I mean, it it will work for like a week, you know, because she has daycare. Now I'm starting on Zamira's hair. I'm doing the same thing to her hair, parting her hair, detangling it, putting grease in her scalp, and also putting moisturizer on her hair and her hair gets tangled so much to the point like I'm braiding it now but before I'm done braiding it I have to comb it again because the ends are like really curly and I just want to make sure that her braid is very smooth so that's what I'm doing and then I'm also parting her hair putting moisturizer in it grease conditioner everything in her hair and yeah, she always, they always want their hair the same. They all say, oh, I want my hair like Zara's or I want my hair like Samira's. So I always make sure to try to do their hair in a similar style because they're twins and it just looks cute to me. So I'm just brushing her hair and putting it in ponytails. And this gives me time through the week where I don't have to do their hair. We'll comb it as often. So now I'm just really focusing on detangling her hair. I'm spraying water in there also, even though she just got a wash, but her hair works really well with water. So that's what I'm doing. And then just brushing it into a ponytail and putting little bobos on it because it's so cute. I love having twin girls, it's so fun. And here is the end result of the hair. Um, it wasn't the best of style, but it worked. And thank you guys so much for watching. Please comment down below and subscribe. Thanks.